My family immigrated to Hawaii when I was 16. Both my parents had less than sixth grade education, so finding a good job was extremely difficult. My dad worked as a janitor and my mom as a cashier. Seeing that hardship sparked my entrepreneurial spirit. After college, I went into real estate and found success. I made enough money to buy a restaurant that was close to where we used to live. I gave it to my mom as a gift. It was called l l Drive-In. Running a restaurant is a very difficult job. And after three years, my mom decided not to stay in anymore. We sold the business to another immigrant, Johnson Cam, who was a good friend of mine. He was a very terrific business partner. We both believe in helping other families. So I rejoined the business with him and started offering franchises. Most of our franchisees were immigrant families just like us. Many could barely speak English. They had the passion, but they didn't have the resources. The banks wouldn't lend them any money, so we helped them. Everyone deserves a chance at the American dream, just like us. I always had a feeling my daughter Alicia wanted to take over the business. I never forced her to work in the organization. I wanted it to be her own decision. In fact, I encouraged her to work for a big company and get outside experience before coming back to l l To run a successful business, the biggest factor is hard work. I'm very proud of Alicia because she is very hardworking and she has brought a lot of outside experience back to the company. She has done a wonderful job being in the community and enjoys mentoring others' family. She has a passion for what she's doing. l l Hawaiian Barbecue has been around for over 45 years now. And it's that hard work and spirit of entrepreneurship that has helped us grow to over 210 restaurants in Hawaii and the United States. I am 74 years old now, and I still love what I'm doing. I still come to the office every day. But now Elysia is making all the day-to-day -day decisions. It's her turn to be the entrepreneur. Growing up, l l Hawaiian barbecue was all I knew. Even at an early age, my father would take me on sales trips to expose me to the business. I assumed it wouldn't be my job in the future. My dad said, go work somewhere else, then come back. I studied finance, worked at General Electric, got my master's degree, but eventually was drawn back to Hawaii and to our family business. In the beginning, I struggled with how to apply a corporate mindset to a very entrepreneurial mom and pop business. Everything at LNL is still cooked fresh from scratch in a kitchen. Nothing is pre-made. It's as homemade as can be. I've had to adapt to grow. I'm taking the foundation of what my dad and Johnson built and making it stronger. We've brought the food of Hawaii to the West Coast and now we're bringing it to people in Virginia, North Carolina, and Florida folks who have never tasted local Hawaii food before. As we aim for 300 locations, my father always taught me to give back. It's about having appreciation for where you came from.